a powerful service package by SGS, Retail Network Solutions, exactly tailored for the automotive retail trade. SGS is the world's leading inspection, verification, testing and certification company. In order for dealers and repairers to be successful in the long term and to optimally implement manufacturer specifications, our audits are not just about naked figures. The human is the center of attention. You get trained in an area and at some point you stop questioning things. But one thing or the other should be done differently. Right? We are truly independent, so we can work a bit differently to how the manufacturer can or could. And that's well received. It works like this. A dealer is told that an audit is due, no matter what kind. That's rarely a cause for delight at the dealership. On the contrary. Oh, there is a schon. Yeah. Oh, that's so Gut. Alles vorbereitet? Alles bestens. Ja. Gut. Ja. Dann gehe ich mal, ne? Würde ich auch sagen, ja. Starting an audit is often a paradoxical situation. All employees are terribly friendly towards us, without actually being happy. Guten Morgen. Schön hier zu sein. Ja, wir freuen uns auch. Im Wetter haben Sie mitgebracht. Meine Assistentin. Hallo. Hallo. Gut, dass wir endlich einen Termin gefunden haben, ne? Das war ja ein bisschen schwierig. Warum hat er das so lange gedauert denn? viel zu tun. Ja. Ja. Dann kommen Sie rein, dann zeige ich Ihnen alles, ja? Bitte. Naja, Sie sehen ja, es muss alles anders. Ja? Aber wenn man mal mit, mit Veränderungen beginnt, dann sieht jedes anders ja anders aus wieder. Ja? Deshalb, ich bin so froh, dass Sie da sind, wirklich. Our Sales Incentive Audit. No sale without discounts and bonuses. It all works like clockwork. Really? We bring clarity to your sales campaigns and evaluate them objectively. There are almost innumerable possibilities and, of course, innumerable possibilities to do something wrong, possibly doing something wrong knowingly. We then often look at the last one to two years at this dealer on a random basis and finally check these premiums and see whether he has actually fulfilled the requirements. And whether, for example, he really took this vehicle out of the competition in payment. In the end, the manufacturer often has to reclaim the money because the rules were not observed and the dealer then has to pay the manufacturer back. This is something we are often accused of, having to demand back as much as possible, because, after all, someone has to pay for our time, and for the manufacturer it is a kind of profit center to generate a demand for repayment, and somehow they have to earn their money. I don't know of any manufacturer that does that. On the contrary, the goal is that the dealer really knows how to do it right, that a high level of customer satisfaction and loyalty ultimately results from this. Oh, schon da? Unser Empfang. Empfang? Welcher Empfang? Ach so, ja, das gute Stück ist unser Empfang. Ich bring sie dann mal weg. And from that moment on, it's fun. This is certainly one of the most frequently asked questions in an audit. Why do you do it this way? And then, more a rule than exception, the answer is, because it's always been that way. If I may say so, this is certainly the challenge for the manufacturer, who centrally evaluates, assesses and sees its dealers. Ist gut gegangen, oder? Würde ich auch sagen. And we are ultimately the eyes in the field. Bye for now.